is game time, baby. Woo! Success! What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Fish Friday. We have an exciting day planned today because the 65 display tank is getting a new tank mate. Some of you guys might know what this is already, but for those of you guys that don't, you're in for a little treat. We're gonna be restocking on some of our cleanup crew. It's been a while since I've picked up some snails. A couple things going on in the 65 gallon right now. Overall, still looking pretty good. This is about a week in, actually, this is almost, this is like a week and a half in on a water change, so looking super good. I just noticed this rock tilted over, so I'm gonna have to pick that up. Good thing uh, the glass is nice and secure there. Sino patches popping up here, boom, boom, boom. Everything is growing really nicely, so that's good. I also have a dirty glass. You can kind of see it's a little like cloudy. I didn't clean it for this video on purpose because we have to pick up Astria snails. I usually let them ride for a couple months, but now it has been a while since I've put any new ones in here. And as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, they can't flip themselves back over. So once they do flip over, if you're not there to find them and flip them or something like that, then they unfortunately die. And little by little, they are no longer in your tank. So you have to replace them. I recently moved this guy from the sand bed up to this rock here. He was getting a little bit of skeleton showing on the rim. I'm not sure if that's because he was dipping into the sand a little too much, so moved him up, see if that fixes that. Also had the red mushroom finally split, so that's super solid. Haven't had a chance to move this green one yet. These guys are huge. Oh, I, I gotta flip him, he's flipped over too. We are gonna take care of that Sino issue because we are gonna be putting in something really exciting into this tank. Check out the nano tank. Let me turn some lights on for you real quick. Nano tank is still looking sick. I mean, in terms of like the idea of the tank, you know, we got the Kessel, we got the floating rock. Uh, we got a knocked over uh, Duncan here cause I gotta cut the base more. Our sexy shrimp is still in here. Our boy Finn is still in here. Honestly, I'm not sure if the panda is still in here. He was kind of hard to see and I haven't, he didn't really move, so I'm not really sure. Oh, there's our boy. There's our boy, Mr. Diamond Gobi. So Mr. Diamond Gobi is the new tank mate for the 65 gallon. Uh, remember I got it from the homie Will. I put him in here and I was like, ooh, he is too big. I think he's even too big for the 65. I was really contemplating uh, taking him back to the store and swapping him for a smaller one, but he did a freaking kick ass job in here. Like, I don't know if you guys remember my sand bed from before. Let me make sure I'm clear on this. He caused absolute havoc when I first put him in here. Like sand everywhere you saw like all the sand particles on the glass the sand all over the rock sand in the back chambers sand everywhere but i think he was just like a little nervous he settled in and now he doesn't really cause too much trouble the sand bed looks clean so even when i take him out i'm thinking about getting like a very small small diamond goby and putting it back in here if the sand starts to get wild again there isn't any more of the cyano or algae all over them they've pretty much cleared out for that it looks pretty good. I'm even getting some core line growing on the back, which is sick. Uh, but basically just the, the bubbles, the bubble algae is what we really got to take care of. So I'm also going to try uh, another emerald crab. First one did not work for me, uh, but I'm going to try another one and maybe he's a hungry guy. We're going to be trying to catch this diamond goby out of here and put him in the display tank. He pretty much just chills back there. So it might be a little issue trying to get him out. I'm not 100% sure yet because of the floating rock situation. I am going to kill the lights again. I have heard, I haven't tried it yet, but I saw somewhere on Reef to Reef that somebody said that they shine a flashlight on them and it stuns them enough so they don't move quickly and you could scoop them out. First, we're going to go pick up all the snails and then we'll come back and, and attempt our, our catching job last because that's going to be, that's going to be a, give us a run for our money, I feel like. I'm out of mysis, so I'm going to have to come pick that back up. What's going on in this tank? Nothing. Oh, they got the, the reef mat. Look at this big old contraption. That beautiful thing. Look how dirty it is in the back. It's super clean in the front. Nice. They are pretty empty. Oh, look at this guy. A d that literally looks like a little dog. Dog face puffer. Wow, kind of like him. He's like an ugly cute. Hey, buddy. He's cool. I actually haven't stocked up on snails or anything since the last time we did it. So I need to get for the main display as well as the nano tank. So I'm gonna get 
Dang, I think these were $2.99 last time. What the heck? Everything's gone up with the price of gas? Sheesh, Magish. All right, I'm gonna get one of those. What else? What else? What else? Uh, Astria snails. I gotta get uh, a bunch of those. Uh, one emerald crab, yep. Nothing too big, a little medium sized one, please. A hungry bubble algae one. Is it nano tank, you said? Uh, yeah, it's a three gallon, but it is overrun with bubble algae, so I'm hoping that he's hungry. One of the medium ones should do, uh, like maybe the ones against the wall, the side wall or something. All right. I like how you're picking live ones. Thank you. <laughs> Always. The mixed sizes. That looks like a good guy for the nano tank. He's freaking moving. Oh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna munch away in there. And last thing's gonna be a turbo snail. This this guy right here looks like a winner. Oh yeah, he's gonna be good. <laughs> Whoa, we got mama catfish in here. Holy moly, that is so big for that little baby tank. I hope somebody buys it quickly. I just see oxalatos. Yup. You can't really see it, but that one's got like green. Oh, there you go. Green eyes. What? Or reflective eyes. Something. That's a little baby one. Oh, look at this one. Flared up. Crazy. I forgot what I did last time, to be honest with you. I think it was the blue one. I'm going to just do straight mysis. I don't know which one I did, but... give it a shot hey shout out to the homies jellyfish art in beverly's pet center now i don't know if this has been here the first time i've seen it but nice work these dang fish are getting expensive you know what i'm saying but i forgot this lasts me for like a solid couple months so we're good literally stocked up on snails hermits frozen mice we are good to go so we got all our fun little goodies we got 13 of them i'll probably put like 11 in here and then Put the other two in the nano just to give it a little cleaning. These two go to the nano tank. Uh, I think this is gonna be too much water though. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try this. This is for sure gonna make this overflow because I'm at max. I got an idea. So my awesome idea is to put them in here. Not sure if it's an awesome idea or not, but I guess we'll find out. So this is Mr. Emerald Crab. Boom! That actually, Went pretty smoothly. We got him. Boom. That boy was hungry. Look, he's coming out already. He is ready to work. Instantly comes out. This might still be too much. Freaking geniuses over here. Boom, baby. We're just gonna work back and forth between the two tanks because that's how you get things done. So while those are acclimating over here, they should be almost ready to go. So we're gonna start putting some of these astro snails in here. I also gotta fix that rock that I forgot to pick up again. Coming in hot, hot, hot. Woohoo! Coming in hot. There we go. Looking good. Oh, I gotta fix this one too. If you're liking this content so far, it would be a great time for you guys to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. Well, this guy looks like he wants to go in the nano, and uh, this guy looks like he wants to go in the nano too, so we'll bring those over. Oh, what the heck is that? Kind of try to spread them out a little bit, you know, so that they, uh, they can, that way they can equally do some work around the, around the tank. You got to find the cool spots for them, you know, oh, that's not a good spot. Come on. Oh, he's gonna work. I'm excited. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. I hope you eat the bubble algae. I really freaking do. We got our snails working. They are going to town. We cut the stem off of this guy. You're next, buddy. I don't know how I'm gonna get you, but I'm gonna try. Before I do the flashlight, I'm gonna try just to catch him normally. Like, maybe scare him out this way and then be able to catch him. But we'll see how it goes. It is game time, baby! He is very, very, very 
very quick. I don't know, he might just freaking jump out and I might have to scoop him up off the floor real quick. Take off a little bit of the dust bunnies and then call it a day. Hey buddy, you're going to a bigger tank, I promise you. This is gonna be well worth it. You're gonna love it in there. Who am I kidding? This shit is gonna be so hard. I don't know if they bite, I hope not. Come on. He's like right under the rocks in the perfect space. So the problem is, I can't reach to get him out. Like that. He's eating shit, really, bro? I didn't think this rock structure out, ladies and gentlemen. Did not think this through. How am I gonna get this guy out of here? I need another tool. I didn't wanna take this guy out, but I ain't messing around. Let's go, come on. Oh, he's in, but I can't scoop up the thing. Shit, ah, the net got stuck. I got him, I got him. Water. You need more water in here. Woo! This tank is looking good and Mr. Finn is loving life all by himself again. Actually, he probably liked having a little homie in there to hang out with, but he's got the whole tank to himself again. I uh, took this guy out because the Panda Gobi definitely was not in there. I don't see him anywhere. He could be in the rocks. He could have passed away. Uh, there's no way to tell. I'm thinking for Reef Palooza, I might get a rock flower or something. Just one or two things to throw into this tank maybe, hopefully. I've, I've waited enough and I'm over it. So you're ready, right buddy? That's how he sleeps, you know that? I, I heard some splashing in my room and he was up straight. Chillin! I don't know how Grumpy's gonna do with him. Hopefully they're okay. You have so much sand to clean. Enjoy it. He's probably freaked the hell out right now. Also, hopefully next time you guys see this tank, he's taking care of the whole sand bed. Think about it. He just moved to a mansion right now. Like, not a normal mansion. Like, White House mansion. Uh-oh. He senses somebody in the water. Dodon, dodon, dodon. Everybody will be fine, guys. Everybody will be fine. Right, Grumpy? You're gonna play nice? You know you wanna. You know you wanna. Take a big old gulp of that sand. It's dirty and it needs you to clean it. Come on, come on, do it. Do it to him, do it to him, Gulper. Oh, look, I think I got his new name. Come on, Gulper. So far, everybody seems to be getting along well in the tank and the new addition hasn't been causing any havoc, but let him settle in. Hopefully he starts cleaning the sand bed pretty soon. Make sure to check out the merch, shoplated.com. We got stickers, hats, shirts, all the good stuff. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. It's completely free and it really helps out the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Later.